Hey, welcome back to the front porch. I'm always glad, well, most of the time, I'm always glad to see Joe Silver, Davidson County's tax administrator. Joe, let me ask you this. I know lately you have not had time to work on your golf game. You've been mighty busy, but other than that, you still play every now and then? About every two weeks. Okay, that'll work. Uh, Joe, I wanted to to get you on and, and talk about some of the things going on in our wonderful county, Davidson County. You've been here, what, 27 years? 22. 22 years. Uh, so you've seen you've seen a lot that's gone on, a lot of changes, a lot of improvements. You're aware of what's going on in the future. You know, we are blessed with a low tax rate, lower than most counties in North Carolina. But the reason it can stay low is because everybody usually pays their taxes. Now, in tough times, Joe, uh, some people may get behind. Over the years, you've worked with folks. You, you know how to work. But right now, it seems we may have a little bit of a problem with people paying taxes. That's correct, Willie. The economic situation that the county, the state, and, and the federal government's in, uh, it gets a little tougher to get people to pay their taxes. But in Davidson County, we work with them. We ask the people to come in. Uh, if they can't pay the entire tax bill, we'll set them up on payments. We have over 200 county employees that are, that are having their um, taxes drafted out of their paycheck. Mm-hmm. And we would offer that to any other agency that would like to do it. One thing that I'm proud to say of, I've been in the business 27 years, 22 in Davidson. We've never put a family out of their home. Right. Uh, we will do anything and everything that we can to assist the taxpayers during these hard economic times to get the taxes paid. And right now we're putting out an endeavor to get the final 6% that owe taxes to pay. So 6% owe taxes, and in the long run, that puts kind of a, a hurting on all of us that do pay taxes. Because number one, the, the price of collection, you've got a fantastic staff, and I want to talk about them in a minute. Uh, your staff works with folks, but when it's outstanding like that, it sort of hurts all of us. Now, nobody wants to lose their business, their motor vehicle, or anything like that. But you can do that. By law, yes, we can. The general statutes allow us to garnish wages, attach bank accounts, levy against personal property, which means seizing motor vehicles, right. etc. We can levy against business personal property, and if we had to, actually shut down a business. We don't do that as a norm. Right. It's a uh, bad situation if we have to pay a visit, because generally we're going to send out a, a bill, a secondary notice, a final notice. We're going to print the names in the paper that we have to do. And now we've endeavored to go out again and say, please contact us so that we don't have to use these methods. Right. Now, once somebody catches up on taxes, or if their taxes are paid, but it's getting harder for them to pay taxes, they need to come by your office and let you set up a plan for them. Absolutely. That's the greatest thing in the world. They can come by. We're fixing the mail out in July, another 94,000 real and personal property bills. And of course, every month we send out about twelve to 13,000 motor vehicle bills. If they'll come by and tell us now, we can't set them up on motor vehicle bills, but on the real and personal property bills, the 94,000, they can come by and say, hey, I'd like to make payments. We'll set them up on a payment plan. All the uh, taxes will be paid before they become delinquent in, on January 5th. That's incredible. And there are cases where you can save them some money if they come in in enough time. Exactly. We send out the bills in July, and the commissioners have allowed a 1.5% discount if you pay your taxes in July, and a 1% if they pay them in August. So there you're saving money. Then, when if on the other hand, if they become delinquent, there's a 2% interest charge for January and three quarters of a percent thereafter. That's 10 and a quarter percent annually. On motor vehicles, it runs about 13%. Right. Now, most counties are not as tolerant. No. They don't come on like Joe's doing here and say, listen, you know, pay your taxes. We want to work with you. Let's get them done. Let's lift the county up. They just come get get your property. They will. Some counties will tow your vehicle. They do a lot of foreclosing, et cetera. Last year in Davidson County, documented 682 homes were foreclosed on by banks. We did none. Why? 
Why didn't we go after somebody's home? Well, if the banks are doing it, the lien follows the chain of title. So we go to the bank and say, you now owe these taxes. There you go. There you go. Uh, Joe, you teach other counties tax procedure, tax laws. Uh, so we are mighty lucky to have you and your staff. you got an outstanding staff. They've been with you a while. They know the business. Uh, you can't argue with them. You can't. Uh, <laughs> the average person that works in the tax office has between 15 and 20 years experience in the Davidson County tax office. Um, people say that you either I hate to say this, die in office or you retire. Um, I had at one time two ladies that were over 80 years old that, that worked in the tax office do a fantastic job. And I will say one thing, that our people do have heart. Yes, they do. Well, they live here. We all live here, and that's what it's all about. That's why you do what you do. Nobody loses if you foreclose and take property because very seldom do you get the value back out of, of the tax value. You've got to resell it or auction it or whatever. So you want it to work for everybody. Yes, I do, because I've been there. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, You're talking to somebody that was without a job years ago, had their power turned off, needed groceries to feed the family. And I promised God then, I said, if you'll pull me out of this, I'll never forget those people that are in the same shape. And right. I don't. Right. But like we mentioned before, Joe's got a job to do. He's doing it for the county and the citizens of Davidson County. And you're doing, you and your office are doing a fantastic job. We're all in this together. Yes, we are. We're all in this together. Well, will you keep us up to date? Because you got some good news. After the tax is paid uh, and, and, and their uh, proposals the, the government has, our local government has, that involve uh, taxes always coming up before us and if you'll tell us what some of those things mean we'll get you back in here i appreciate that willie and i will say that uh, after we did the spot uh we have increased uh 300 in collections since we did the uh spot for hometown tv today so i appreciate that well i appreciate that and it's because we're all in this together yes we're we a community all right joe i appreciate it i'll get you back on and uh don't know if I'm going to get to play you on the golf course anytime soon because you're too good. You've had too much practice. I don't know if that's good or not. We'll get you back on the golf course, get these taxes in. Okay, we got more coming up, so you keep it right here on the front porch, and we'll be right back.